Hey everybody. So I just replaced the card reader on the Cucumber Tower Lux and it has thrown off the drive letter assignment on my system. So what we're going to do is we're going to change M, N, and O to be different drive letters. So to do that, in File Explorer, what you can do is you can right click on Computer or this PC and select Manage. And if you get a UAC prompt, just accept it. Um, now of course we're on Windows 11 and the steps here will also work on Windows 10, Windows 8 and 8.1, Windows 7, Windows Vista, even Windows XP. So, here we are in Computer Management. We're going to select Disk Management. And this may take a moment to come up. So we're going to change the drive letters on each of these. So to do that, um, all we got to do is right click and select change drive letter and paths. I'm going to select change. And we're going to change this to G. Select OK. Now it's going to tell you a warning. Um, some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? We'll talk about that in a moment. Select yes. And it's going to change that drive letter to G. So let's go ahead and repeat the same step for O. We're going to change it to I. Actually, no, we'll change it to H. Select yes again. Come down here to M. We'll change its drive letter and paths. Select change. We'll change that to I. Okay. We'll select OK and of course we'll get the prompt again. Alright, so now we're going to close out of uh, computer management. So, you can see now, following our last um, internal hard drive, we now have our built-in removable devices, which are three removable drives for the card reader. And then we have our detachable external drives. For example, my portable SSD here, and I got a USB drive here. So, that message you've seen earlier, um, stating that some programs may not function correctly if you change the drive letter. So, for example, let's say, um, let's say you have a video editing program, and you have a project file saved on that drive or anywhere on your system. And let's say you either, A, you have your project file based on that drive itself, or B, you have source files that are based on that drive. Okay, let's say you change your drive letter after you've saved your project and you go to open up your video editing program, it's going to not be able to find the files because the drive letter has changed. So that's basically what that's talking about is if you have, let's say for example, um, a project file in let's say a video editor, again as I said, um, and you have saved a project and you have either the project file itself located on that drive or you have needed files for the project on that drive and you go change your drive letter it will throw things off and also I should note that you shouldn't do this when you have let's say for example um, well I mean you could do it when you have let's say your USB drive plugged in but you don't want to do it when you have software open that's using files on that device that you're changing the drive letter of. So that's a key thing to take note of. Now if we go back into computer management again, I did want to show you one other thing. So for example, let's just let's we'll select L. And let's go to change drive letter and paths. Now there's another thing you can do, let's say for example you did a disk clone and you have for example your system reserve partition on your C drive or your, your, your main OS drive showing up as a drive letter. Um, you do have the option to totally remove that drive letter and I'm not going to select yes on that because I don't want to do it but that is an option 
Um, what that will do is it will, it will stop, let's say, your system reserve partition uh, from showing up in File Explorer as a drive letter. Um, another thing is, if you look in your list of drives, now of course, my system does have an A drive, a floppy disk drive, 1.44 megabyte, three and a half inch floppy drive. Now of course, traditionally drive letters A and B have been assigned to floppy drives. So because of that, I generally would not recommend using those drive letters for let's say your thumb drive. Because, I mean, I mean you probably could, but there's some software out there that may try to interpret drive letters A and B as floppy disk drives. So generally I would caution against um, utilizing drives A and B for anything aside floppy drives. And let's say for example you need to use a floppy drive and you have um, you already have drive letters A and B assigned to other uses and you pop in that floppy disk drive software in many cases is I'd say you could say it's coded to use the A drive as a floppy drive. Um, so that could be an issue. So generally the way Windows works is drive letters A and B are reserved for floppy disk drives. That's why when you pop in your flash drive it doesn't automatically assign it to drive letter A or drive letter B. Just something I forgot to take note of. But as you can see here we have now changed the drive letters for our new card reader. So anyways, hopefully that's helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.